Hey everyone and welcome to this review of Warhammer Age of Sigma Warcry Harbingers of Destruction. This is the Destruction Alliance uh, rulebook uh, for Warhammer Age of Sig uh, Sigma's Warcry. Uh, I'm going to go through the book uh, slowly, uh, holding the pages down so you can see everything you need to. Hopefully my camera is good enough quality and we're going to have a little look. So, uh, smash and bash. This is about using the book, um, like what the book's about. Uh, this is the uh, about the faction room marks. So you'll see here you get four four war bands you can make up: bone splitters, gloom Sight gits, iron jaws, and ogre more tribes. So not not a huge choice for destruction. Just the four. There's no mega gargants, uh, uh, so you can't add those. But um, here's the heroes and allies. Uh, so this is like what you had in monsters and mercenaries. Uh, anyone with a leader room mark or an ally room mark can be added to your warband and then like narrative play uh, it tells you how to do that you can't have heroes and allies lead your warbands though also included is monsters and thralls so you, here you'll have the rules for adding monsters uh, so here you've got the hunting abilities and the monster abilities uh, and the monsters available to you are the Alguzla Gargant, uh, the Skitterstrand Arachnarok, Dankhold Trogoff, which I think is a new one, and the Thralls, which you can add if you've dominated territory. Um, you can add these to your warband. You pay the points, but they don't count to the total number of models. Um, so you can have a Rock Gut or a Fellwater Trogoff. And then on to the actual warbands. So we start off with Gloom Spike Gits. And uh, included within the Gloom Spike Gits for the first time, I believe, are Spider Riders. So you've got a Scuttle Boss, a Web Spinner Shaman, Spider Rider Boss. These are new additions, I believe. Uh, and then you've got uh, Spider Riders. You've got Squigs. Everything you need. Uh, these ones on this page are... Allies, so they're they're Gloom Spike Gits faction, but they're also allies, so you can use these. So they don't have the reason they've got the ally mark is because they're not leaders, so you do have the ability to add these to um, like an ogre war band, even though it doesn't have a leader mark. So that's quite cool. And then we have the ogres. So. Uh, that's the background. It's nice to get the background included in the book, uh, something that is missing from the cards. Um, also, you get the names on the profiles now. Uh, the cards previously were um, they were available in all nationalities, so they didn't have any language on the cards. So Games Workshop would just print a single batch of cards and then send them out to everyone, every continent. Uh, now the, the book is... Um, uh, multilingual they translate it so they can actually put the names back on um, I'm going on about that a little bit but I'm really happy for that I'm pleased to have the names because with Warhammer Age of Sigma they've changed all the names of everything so if you're a Warhammer head like me from back in the day you've now got to learn all these new names so it's useful to have the names anyway 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 right so here we have Oroch War Clans um, there's their background and uh, it starts with the Bone Splitters so there's all your options there. You get your fighter abilities and the leader abilities all in one place. Very, very useful. Um, and there's your fighters. Some nice photography. I'm a fan of Games Workshop photography. It's just really cinematic, engaging, just gets you pumped up to play. It's, it's great. Uh, then you've got the Iron Jaws. So here you have uh, all the Iron Jaw options. Um, I haven't had any Iron Jaw cards, so I can't tell you what's new or what's not. So hopefully you can tell yourself. You can understand that. It's quite cool. There's no... Um, I'm surprised there's no more Crusher in the monster section. That would have been quite cool. Maybe Games Workshop are saving something for, you know, a future release or something. Who knows? But um, here are the background tables. So if you want to name your models and give them origins and favoured backgrounds, that's where you get that information from. 
which is awesome. Then you've got the campaigns and challenges. So you get fated quests, which are available to anyone under this faction. Uh, you'll see here the uh, faction specific cards. You also note the terrain uses Warhammer, uh, Warcry, Catacombs, I'm trying to say, sorry. Um, that uses the terrain from that box set, not the starter set, but you can make these up out of the starter set, uh, more or less. Um, if you don't have either of those sets, then you can use any kind of terrain you have, or you can just switch out the entire thing for a Ravage Land set or whatever you've got. Um, Tomb of Champions, both uh, 2019 and 2020 have terrain generators in there, so you can actually use that as well. Uh, so there's the wisdom of Wasgobber. Chains of Iron. And then at their own game. So quite a few fated quests. I feel like they're trying to make up for the lack of warbands by giving you a few extra fated quests. Maybe I'm imagining it, but there's the uh, honor and glory tables. And then the challenge battles, my favorite. So you get the big old Titanic clashes. So the first one is... Um, right old mess and it's uh this is against the fire slayers so you're actually deep in the catacombs um with your warband with your destruction warband fighting fire slayers how cool is that so you can have goblins versus dwarves you know deep in the catacombs it doesn't get more warhammer than that does it uh, and then this is the gargantuan so this is against the owl guzzler so you'll, uh, you'll face off against an Owl Guzzler, and if you win the battle, you can add the Owl Guzzler to your warband, which is epic. Um, here we have the big Karnad Bash, and uh, that is looks like you're going up against a Trogoth. Oh no, Challenger Warband is Destruction Warband, but you get you also the Challenger Warband also includes one Trogoth, one Dankhold Trogoth, and then all adversaries are the Chaos Faction room mark, and the total is 1,250 points, which is pretty cool. So you get to add a trog off, and you get to go and smash some Chaos up. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and this is an Iron Jaws. Uh, this is a Destruction Warband versus Iron Jaws. So it's, it could be Orcs versus Orcs there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but here we have uh, an Orc Mega Boss as the leader. So you get an Artifact of Power. Uh, this is what you'll play if you want to add a Skitterstrand Arachnorok to your warband. So this is the uh, challenge there. So if you've got a Spider Rider warband and you want a Skitterstrand, your Spider Rider is going to have to try and capture it. Uh, and then you've got Bloodbath and Brew Grit, Brew Gits, and that's a and that uses the uh, what does that use? Adversaries get 1,300 points. Not sure, really. Challenge of Warband also includes one. Oh, so you get a brew git. Oh, right. The Adversaries is in that. It's literally the same faction room mark, so you can play that against anyone. And then finally, you get the uh, Warcry Warband roster, which is the um, same as every other one. So that's that. And that's the end of the book. So that concludes the review for Warhammer Age of Sigma Warcry Harbingers of Destruction. Uh, a little bit smaller than the other ones, but still uh, packed to the gunnels with uh, content, like playable content as well, not just fight profile. So re really liking these books. They're really handy. Uh, rather than having loads of cards and stuff, you know, you can just have the books or they work well with the cards as well because I don't believe the cards have changed. I think I've only found one instance of one card changing and that was in the Chaos book. So that was the Aspiring Champion. Um, but that doesn't mean the Aspiring Champion card is negated because it's just a slightly different profile with a different picture. So it could be a different profile. Anyway, so these are great. These are building upon um, the Warcry game instead of replacing anything so they're a great addition so uh, that'll conclude it and thanks for watching uh, make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one cheers bye bye